it's time to grasp the word. Hear, read, memorize, meditate, and study your Bible with us. The theme of GRASP 2022 is Worship and Wisdom from the Word. Thank you for joining our Psalm of the Month podcast. We invite you to let the Psalms raise your worship from an experience to a lifestyle. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Uh, this psalm, which is known as the Shepherd's Psalm, of course, was written by David, who himself had uh, experience as a shepherd when he was a lad. Uh, but he, in this psalm, the shepherd is not David. It is the Lord. And if you'll notice in the first three verses of this psalm, he speaks to, about the Lord in the second person. The Lord is my shepherd. He maketh me. He restoreth my soul. And um, But in verse 4, the tone changes. He says, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me. Thou anointest my head with oil. So it goes to him directly speaking to God, which shows that the psalm becomes more personal as we get into it. And then he makes the explanation in verse 6. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And this is in response to all the things that the Lord had done as his shepherd. And he realized that the goodness and mercy of his life was a result of walking with the shepherd, or the shepherd being with him. And then finally, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So it starts, he starts as a sheep in the field with the Lord as his shepherd, and it ends in the house of the Lord, a journey that all of us would want to make. The experience with the shepherd in the field is really what made the writer long for the house of the Lord. It is the goodness and the mercy of the Lord all the days of our life that really make a desire that, yes, we want to spend our life in the house of the Lord. We want to uh, end up in the house of the Lord all the days of our lives. Well, generally, when I, when I think of a shepherd walking, watching over his um, flock of sheep, um, you, you think about that shepherd looking at for the out for the whole group. Well, what is best for the group, or 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 best for the collective? But really, this this psalm here it shows that God or our the good shepherd, he really cares about the individual, right? Because you look at all throughout this, it's about a relationship. It's a deeply personal psalm between you know about God and the sh uh, individual sheep. Um, he says, the Lord is my shepherd. He leadeth me. He restoreth my soul. He says, for thou art with me. And that's, that just shows that God cares about the individual. Right. And this reminds me of the parable that Jesus told, the parable of the lost sheep um, in Luke chapter 15, verses 4 through 6. And in this parable, we have a shepherd that left the 90 and 9 sheep behind to find the one that was lost. And this just shows us that God cares about the individual. And the shepherd knows his sheep individually. He is concerned for them. He has their best interest in his mind. First of all, 
he is our, our shepherd, is what God it tells us. And, um, that, and he says, I shall not want. That means I will not be in need or um, I will be satisfied. No matter what happens, I'm going to be satisfied because God is with me. He's watching over me and we have to care about him. Um, there's, there's things here. Um, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. That's rest. And that's one thing about God. God is not going to overdrive us. He's not going to weary us. Um, he's going to, to, um, he, he is, he has us, our health in mind. Um, God leads us to still waters, green pastures down the paths of righteousness. And he restores my soul. He renews my life. And God is as our shepherd. He leads us in the paths of righteousness. And this means that God will, he will continue to lead us in the right direction. His path is the best path for our lives his will is the best course for our lives and he has our best interests in mind and, and and he it is in god's best interest that that we succeed he he loves us he cares about us it says for his name's sake it is in god's best interest to lead us in the bath in the best path um for our lives kind of reminds me a little bit of a new testament peter writing in his letter when he wrote about you are who were not a people are now the people of God, but the purpose is that you might show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So when God does what's best for us, when he betters our life, and when he makes the best, best pathway for us and we go down that path, our lives end up bringing glory and praise to God. And it's just like Jesus said, let your light so shine so that men may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Our good works are a result of the goodness and mercy of the shepherd, the Lord our shepherd. And our lives end up bringing glory to him because when they see the good that he does for us, it shows the world how good our God is, how great our God is, and what a blessing it is to have him as our shepherd.